I wanted to give my thoughts on the whole Kelechi Assembly situation that we currently have on our hands, okay? As Jets fans here, we know that the Jets went out in the offseason. And we parted ways with a late round draft pick to the Oakland Raiders in exchange for Osemele, right? A former Pro Bowl guard, um, you know, coming in at a position of need, uh, a veteran leader, well liked across the league. On the surface, everything looked great, right? Because it was paramount that we had that we needed to protect Sam Darnold going into year two. Everybody knows this. We're not reinvent reinventing the wheel here, but everybody knows. That protecting a young quarterback pays off big time. How can a young quarterback um, expect to grow, expect expect to blossom, expect to um, turn into the franchise quarterback that that the franchise that the fans um, you know expect him to be? How can a quarterback do that if he's constantly picking himself up off of the turf, constantly breathing in dirt? So the Jets acted because our offensive line play a season ago was absolutely atrocious it was horrendous so the Jets went out and they made a move acquiring Osemele yes he did come at a nine million nine million dollar uh, salary which is quite high but you know what the Jets had cap space and we needed to make a move um, I was totally pumped up when we signed Kaleche or when we traded for him rather so we get this guy in the building and everything you know on the surface seemed pretty good a couple weeks goes by, and I believe it was around the bye week, Osemele started to experience some shoulder pain, right? Now, it wasn't anything that you can see physically, right? He didn't have like a snapped limb where you can see he's like limping around or where you can like, you know, he's not cut open, bleeding and stuff like that. It's not one of those things where you can look at him from afar and say, oh my God, that guy's injured. We have to get him to a doctor. It was an internal structural type of injury. Rotator cuff, labrum tear. Very, very painful stuff. Um, so he's dealing with the shoulder pains. He goes, he sees a doctor. The doctor did not clear him. The doctor said he needs surgery. So he went and he saw another doctor. Same result. Not cleared. You know, not good to play. He needs surgery. He proceeds to see a third doctor. The third doctor tells him the same exact thing. You need surgery. Kaleche wants the surgery. But for whatever reason, the Jets are not authorizing it. I don't know why. You know, as if the season hasn't been embarrassing enough, whether you want to talk about the losses, whether you want to talk about the play calls, the Gase hire, oh my goodness, complete train wreck. So far, the season has not gone the way any Jet fan planned for it. You know, we had a lot of hope at the start of free agency, start of the draft. But a couple moves here and there, really kind of headlining with the head coach and the GM firing rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Got off on a very, very, very negative uh, foot, right? Not, not a good start. Not a good start. So here's the deal here. There's a lot to unpack. A lot of embarrassing stuff here, okay? You have sources. You have all these credible, credible names um, reporting, um, you know, some some pretty scary stuff. You know, here's here's one guy, Adam Lefko. Um, Jets uh, offensive lineman Kelechi Assembly has been told by two doctors, so this was actually posted five days ago, uh, that he needs, sh that he needs uh, shoulder surgery per source. The source says that the Jets have been attempting to delay surgery by sending blank and incorrect MRI images to doctors. Even going as far as, as refusing to release workers' comp forms. Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't understand. I really don't understand why, you know, what's, what the issue is by, you know, why, why we can't just say, oh my God, like, go get the surgery, man. You know, feel better. Just do what you have to do to get better. Um, if you, if you need anything, like, let me know. And I got you. Why can't we do something like that? How, is that how a, is that how a company works these days, let alone a billion dollar company? Um, it, it, I mean, it's embarrassing. And, you know, assembly was interviewed, uh, today, I think at the jets facility SNY posted it, you know, you had a bunch of jet beat reporters there. I think rich Samini of ESPN was there. Manish Mehta was there. Um, I, I think there was a couple other guys. Let me see. Um, you know, I think Ralph uh, Vacchiano was there as well. 
And uh, the some of the some you know some of the stuff that Osamley was saying in that interview was uh, it was alarming to say the least. I mean, he's in that interview. He said that he hasn't spoken to Gase in weeks. What kind of leader is that? You know, if you get hurt on the job, like, or you get hurt in school, you know, if you you know for the young guys out there and like the teacher, the manager, like you would expect that the company would have your back, um, at least check in. You know, so it's unfortunate. It's embarrassing. Um, I mean, it's not a good look. It's it's really not. And you know what, Kaleche, I hope you go. And and by the way, it's still not settled for whatever reason. The Jets are still not clearing. You know, allowing the surgery to happen, and they are fining Osemele. They are fining. Osemily, money, real money. So if Kalecho Osemily wants to go go get the surgery on Friday, which he's planning on doing, I support him 100%. You are in pain. You had a doctor. You had two doctors. You had three doctors say, you need surgery. You're not good to go. Go get the surgery. So Kalecho... I hope you feel better, better man. Um, I really, really, really wish that you know it went better and things were were handled differently. I really do because you know I was a big fan. You know, just just a, I remember watching him as a Raider and stuff like that, and he was just a dominant beast. Um, obviously, you know he's you know a lot older now, but still a valuable player, still a solid player, and it just kind of goes. It just kind of goes beyond football when it's like, you know, because it's not even just like you're saying, oh, like my shoulder hurts, like a Jalen Ramsey situation where it's like, oh, I'm going to request a trade. Oh, you're, you're not going to trade me. Okay, my back hurts. I, I'm not going. My back hurts. It's not a situation like that. It's been an ongoing thing for, for weeks now. And multiple doctors have Osemley's back and they're, they're, they're backing him 100%. And it's just disturbing at this point. Really, really discouraging stuff. Um, let's see. Here's another update. He's uh, update on Jets guard Kalecho Assembly. He has had a third opinion on his on his shoulder and was told that he needs surgery. Team believes he could play through it. He plans on having surgery surgery on Friday, even though team has not authorized. Osemele adds that he's been fined the max amount every day. It's a great look to the league, you know, especially from, you know, that, that you know uh, potential free agents. Do you think A.J. Green is going to have any interest of coming to this team? Do you, considering that he's dealt with injuries before in the past, considering that he's currently not playing because of injury, do you think... Do you think that AJ Green feels comfortable going into a meeting with the New York Jets to sign a contract knowing his injury history? Absolutely not. It's not a good look. It's shady. It's sketchy. I don't like it. I really don't see what the big deal is about saying, hey, Kalechi, like, go get the surgery, man. Go do your thing. Go get healthy. Feel better soon. If there's anything, you know, that you need, the New York Jets have your back. Go get healthy. Do your thing. But nope, it's being handled horribly. Um, and, you know, just in the fining, the weird thing about sending the blank MRIs, like, are you kidding me? A complete joke. Um, and also Adam Gase, Adam Gase not talking to assembly, like not checking up on him. And because that was straight out of Kaleche's mouth. You know, he said, um, you know, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. And the, the guy who's asking the question followed up with another question saying like, oh, you know, they, they preach family and stuff like that. Do you, do you, you know, this isn't verbatim, but do you feel like you're part of the family? And he's just like, uh, I don't really know. And Osemele took the high road on many different occasions where he didn't have to. So I applaud Kaleche in that sense. I hope he go. I hope he gets the surgery. I hope he feels better. Um, torn labrum, very, very scary stuff. Um, rotator cuff issues. Those are the thing, you know, that, that lingers around There's uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a tough situation. Here's another one. Uh, Kaleche Osemele. Uh, let me see. Let me see. 
Osemele's labrum is off the bone. So, I mean, at this point, it's... Yeah, it's, uh, my torn labrum is off the bone. That, that's, that's basically what it is. So, I'll leave it there. Complete embarrassment. Kaleche, feel better soon, bro. Wishing nothing but the best, and I hope you have a speedy recovery. I know this thing's gonna be tricky. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. And, uh, as always, thanks so much for sticking with this channel. I, I really do appreciate it.